This is tutorial number 51, and it covers how to use the Solid Combine feature within Katia v5. To start off, open up a new part file within Katia v5. Now once you've done that, the Solid Combine feature can be found on the toolbar over here, and if you click Insert, Sketch Base Features, Solid Combine. So what the Solid Combine is, is you can create two separate sketches that are both closed profiles that intersect one another, and from that, you're able to create a solid. So it's easier to kind of see it than to visualize and kind of think of how to put this together. So I'm going to show you how to do one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the XY plane, click sketch, and I'm going to sketch a square. So I'll sketch out the square and let's dimension it. So I'm going to dimension it to 100 by 100. Just drag it over here and center it. So make it 50 by 50 from the middle. And go back. And now what I'm also going to do is create a sketch inside of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this one here, the ZX plane, click sketch, and I'm just going to draw a circle in the middle of it. So I'm going to draw a circle, and I'm going to make that 100 also. 100 millimeter diameter, and let's go back. So you can see that between these two, uh, both of these sketches are intersecting each other. So now what we're going to do is click on the solid combine, and we're going to click each of these profiles and it's going to put both of these sketches together. Click OK, and now I have a solid from it. Now if I go back, and when you click the solid combine, you can see that as you put it together, you can kind of envision the square going infinity in both ways, and the circle going infinity in both ways, and where they both touch, that's what you get to keep. So now let's edit some of these sketches. So. Let's make this circle come out more. So let's make this 200. Go back. And let's do the solid combine again for both of them. Click OK. And now we get a different shape again. If we go back and if you look at how this solid combine was made again, If it will let me select the sketches. So select the sketches. And then you can see again, like I was saying, if you can think of the square going infinity in both ways and the circle going infinity in both ways, and where they both touch, that's the part that you get. So again, we'll click OK. And let's go into the part body and let's just delete this combine. And we'll do two separate sketches again. So let's click the XY plane, click Sketch. And let's draw a hexagon. And then let's go back up. And for this one, we'll click on the YZ plane, click sketch. And with the profile, just make some type of profile that's outside of it. And we'll go back and we'll do the solid combine once again. And you can see, like I was saying, if you go infinity in both ways, that's what you're going to get. So we'll click OK. And now we get that shape there. So this is a cool tool if you have two sketches. So it's kind of like uh, having a few different envelopes for the sizes and kind of meshing everything together, creating one solid from the two sketches. So this is a really unique tool within Katia V5. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the Combine feature within Katia V5.